The U.S. National Anthem played as the sun rose over Boca Grande Pass on Memorial Day weekend. Anglers and spectators paid homage to the nation's brave as they prepared for Canyon Bay Boats week number two of the 2010 Miller High Life Professional Tarpon Tournament Series presented by Yamaha. Coming off of a hilltide, a full moon that makes for excellent nighttime fishing but can leave anglers frustrated by few early morning bites, there was speculation that fishing would be more challenging than usual. Fears were dispelled early as numerous teams radioed the welcome call of fish on. Soon the waters were churning as anglers followed their fish through the pass. The weather held despite a threat of rain and the bite was on. Team Wilberback.com took an early lead when they weighed a 198 pound tarpon, a fish that remained atop the tires plus leaderboard for the entire event. Yeah, wore me out a little bit. Look, we're here now. Totally worth it, huh? Definitely worth it. The PTTS is known for excitement and last minute drama, and this week was no exception. As the tournament neared the end of regulation time, a number of boats were still hooked up. With two minutes remaining in the overtime period, Captain Jason Sherwood's team Canyon Bay boats managed to gaff their fish and weigh it in for a respectable 142 pounds that left them in second place for the week. We're from Lakeland, Florida, and we've been fishing Boca Grand for 30 years and uh, <clears throat> been fishing the PTTS and uh, just thoroughly enjoyed it and it's just a lot of fun on, on a Sunday morning. The big fish also launched them into second place for the Skeeter Team of the Year race. John McClay's team out of line held on to first place while Saw Rock Grill and Captain Cody Chevis remained in third. The action continues next weekend with the third installment of the PTTS series. Reporting from Boca Grande Pass, Florida, for the World Fishing Network, I'm Joe Mercurio.